how did you actually meet Sable? A lot of the fans wanted me to ask you that. You know, I've shared the story before. It was when I was with WCW Wrestling. We got married um, a couple of years before I ever went to WWE. We were, she's my wife. We, we, uh, I adopted her child, um, Mariah, who we're, we're real tight to this day. I love her to death. My, and I got a little granddaughter now. Um, but we, we, me, DDP, and Marcus would travel together. And we used to play this stupid game that's called Give Her Your Best Line. And so, in other words, what it was is if we saw like a hot chick, um, one of us would say, uh, like if, I, if it was me, I'd go, hey, hey uh, DDP, give her your best line. He goes, oh, man. And he'd have to say something to this girl or whatever to <laughs> come up with some line to try to meet her, you know? So, anyways, we'd do this and we'd just be laughing because most times people would go, what? You know, or, anyways, we're, we're in a... Uh, a restaurant, it was a Quincy's restaurant in Jacksonville, Florida. And the Quincy's has this like kind of, you. it's kind of a buffet line, you know, where you get a tray and you go by and you order your food or whatever. And so uh, we're in this buffet line, me, DDP, and Mark, um, Marcus, and we're almost at the cash register. And all of a sudden, this girl with two of her friends, Rena and two of her friends walk in. And uh, DDP goes, I remember it, he goes, bro, give her your best line. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. And she, Rena was a pretty girl. So I took a napkin and I wrote, do you like me? Yes or no? Circle one. I mean, some of you do in elementary school. So I give it to the cashier. I said, when that girl comes by, give her this napkin and tell her it's from me. I'll be sitting right over there. So DDP and Marcus are busting out thinking this is the stupidest thing they've ever seen, right? We're laughing. So we're all watching her trying to, you know, eat our food. We're all watching her get the note. She grabs the note. She looks at it and just sets it on her train and walks away. So it was like, and they go, oh, that was a good one. Like we were laughing so hard because she just blew it off, you know? About 15 minutes later, the waitress comes over to our table and she has the napkin. And she goes, that girl up there told me to give you this. And I open it up and she wrote in maybe and circled it. <laughs> so it was at that point I went over to their table. I told her, hey, we're wrestling in town tonight. Would you and your friends like to go? We'll leave you tickets at the will call window. And that's how I had my first date with Rena. And uh, to, to carry on with that story, something else funny happened that night. So we go to the wrestling uh, we go, we, we, we do our match and everything and, and they wait for us after. And we go to this hotel that we're staying at. And, uh, um, I have, I have my own room. Marcus has his own room. DP has his own room. Um, so usually I would room with, with one of those guys, but knowing that Rena was coming that night, I thought maybe I'll have my own room, my own room and hang out with her, you know? So, uh, we after the after the match go to the bar, we have a bunch of drinks. We go back to my hotel room. We're hanging out in the hotel room. All of a sudden there's a knock at the door. And I get up and I, I look to the little window and I can see it's Buff Bagwell. And he goes, he goes, he goes, Johnny, Johnny, because he was called Johnny from Johnny Gadet. And I, I open the door, he goes, he goes, I, I, I gotta I gotta talk to Rita for a second. And she, you know, we, we were we were fully dressed, we weren't doing anything, we were just sitting on the bed watching TV. And um, so he comes in. And he starts pretending he's got like a pool stick. And then he, he does like he's playing pool. She falls back on the bed and starts laughing. And what it was is Buff was in his, Marcus was in his, his hotel room and he was flipping to the TV channels and he saw one of those like 1-900 numbers <laughs> where you could meet this girl and it was her because she was a model and she did commercials. Oh, and wow. So you mean it's not those girls on the line when you call? Yes, and it was it was so funny that I'm in the room with the 900 girl. <laughs> so and it was just a silly thing that happened, and then but she was a, a an amazing amazing girl, and we got really tight, and uh, we got married in 1994, and uh, you know she just was happy being a housewife, staying at home, and then but then we went to the WWE or WWF. Um, is when, you know, our lives were forever changed uh, because of, you know, hiring a nanny to, to take care of our daughter. And it caused a lot of issues with our daughter. And, you know, she had, you know, to this day, I mean, she has issues about, you know, being home without her parents, you know. So it's something you always remember.
Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.